it's your girl stephanie welcome and welcome back to quilting beauty and books my corner of youtube i pray that you and your family are all doing well today and that you enjoy today's video as you can see by the title i am doing a tag guys i believe i created this tag because i haven't seen anything like it out here on youtube or any other platform not that i'm on any other platform <laughs> I haven't seen it done here on YouTube, okay? Um, I thought about this back in November, and here I am now in February and recording it. Now, it's only three simple rules to this tag. It has to be a wish list book. <laughs> Not something you already have or have it on an um, e-book. It has to be a wish list book. Now, it can be... Um, from any wish list that you have. All of my wish list um, books are combined onto my Goodreads account. So, yeah, it's easier for me to do this tag from my Goodreads account. The second rule is that you will alphabetize your wish list in alphabetical order. You can either do it from A to Z or Z to A. It doesn't matter. What you're going to do is um, each alphabet represents the author's last name. <laughs> and you will choose a book from that category that um, you look forward most to getting. And then, of course, rule number three is to tag other people. Easy peasy. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'll be placing each book cover that I choose here on the screen for my A's. I am choosing, it was a hard one because I wanted to do Love in a Love in a Broken Vessel by Misu Andrews. You guys know how I feel about her. And Gods and Kings, Chronicles of the King. I think this is a series by Lynn Austin. I am choosing. <laughs> Lynn Austin's Gods and Kings. Now, I have been reading last month and this month Misu Andrew books. Oh, I'm getting every single one of her Christian biblical fiction books. So, yeah, I got most of them. I think the only one I don't have is the um, Love in a Broken Vessel. Guys, if you hear that, we're having rough work done. Oof. Out of all days, he had to come. <laughs> Let's go into the B's. I'm torn between two books, guys. One is Waterfall, and it's book number one in the River of Time series by Lisa Ton Bergren. Or, um, <laughs> it's really three books. A Time to Speak, out, and that's book number two in the Out of Time series by Nadine Brands. Next week, I'll be reading book number one. Um, so I'm kind of torn about, do I just go ahead and get book number two? Or book number one in the Acts of Faith series um, by Davis Bunn, and it is called The Centurion's Wife. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I want the most. I got to choose one. I am going to choose because I know I'm going to get book number two because I got a feeling I love book number one, A Time to Die. So I'm not going to choose that one. The Centurion's Wife by Davis Bunn. That's the book I'm choosing for letter B. <laughs> for letter C, I have, again, most of these books. Um, the Prince of Spies is um, book number three in the Hope of Glory series, and that is by Elizabeth Camden. Um, Nate and I have been doing buddy reads, and we buddy read book number one and book number two. So I have to get book number three because we're reading it for March anyway. So I have several other books here. Mmm. I am going to choose When Mockingbirds Sing by Billy Coffey. I like that one. Okay, let's go on to D. C. 
several books again on this list. I'm going to go with, I have these books. <laughs> a lot, I have a lot of uh, Melanie Dickerson books on my list, but as you already know, I have quite a bit of her books. Um, I have some um, from Ted and Ra Rochelle Decker. I think I am going to go with Before I Called You Mine by Nicole DC or Deese. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with for my letter D. For my letter E, I only have one book. <laughs> and that's Oath of Honor. And that's book number one in the Blue Justice series by Lynette Eason. <laughs> I have all of these books. So I have no letter F. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, we're going to tally it up in the end of how many letters I do not have books for. And the goal is to beat me um, by the, you know, tallying of the score. So if I get five, that means you got to come in with four or less books, okay? <laughs> um, okay, let's go to G. I have that one. Oh, okay, guys. I have some good G's. I have chosen the Lost Diaries of Esther, of Queen Esther. I'm sorry, but by, by Ginger Garrett. Um, this is a series, but I'm not sure which is book number one. It is in the Barks and Beans Cafe Cozy Mysteries um series. And it's about dogs. I love it. Um, and it's by Heather Day Gilbert. So I'm not sure which one is book number one. So, and I think it's three books so far. One is called Fair Trade, No Filter, and Iced Over. I'm not sure which one. I have some books by Elizabeth Goddard. A lot of books by Elizabeth Goddard. And um, Michelle Grip, Grip, G R I E P, Grip. I have several books from her, and I have um, a couple from Tracy Grit. Um, I have one of the ones from Tracy Grit. I have the Stones of My Accuser, but I don't have my brother's keep, the Brother's Keeper. So it's between that one and. Ginger Garrett's Chosen, The Lost Diaries of Queen Esther. Because this cover is stunning, I am going to go with Chosen, The Diaries of Queen Esther. Cute, cute, cute. But honestly, I can, I can see myself getting every single one of these Gs because um, they are just something I really, really want. Now, I cannot say I want all the ones from Elizabeth Goddard. I don't know her work yet, so... Once I read something from her and if I, you know, if I'm digging it, she'll be on my shelf too. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's go with E, F, G. I have my alphabets written down because guys, I, I'm all over the place. When, especially when I come and get in front of the camera, I forget everything. Okay. So, no, we're on to H. <laughs> H. Hmm. I have that. Oh, I did not know this book was a part of a series. Huh. H. I am going to go with because I have a lot of these. Um, it's good to be Queen by Liz Curtis Higgs. That is my H. Okay, let's see, H, let's, I, I have no eyes. <laughs> J, I have, I have. Okay, J, I am going to go with The Valley of the Dry Bones by Jerry B. Jenkins. Let's do K. The only K I have is, it's an autobiography and it's Finding Me 
Oh, wait a minute. I already have that one, so I can't even use that one. I don't have a K. <laughs> okay, let's move it along to L. L. <sighs> I have the Left Behind series on here. I have none of those books, so that's a contender. I have all of these. Ooh, okay. So I have a book by um, R.J. Larson, 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 yes, Prophet, and it's book number one in the Books of Infinite series. I also have some books by Wendy Lawton that I'm a really big fan of hers, even though I've only read one of her books. I just absolutely loved it. I do have her second one. I can't wait to read. Um... I've seen uh, like snippets of the books and I just like, you know what? I have to have all of these books and it's in her um, Daughters. I think it's Daughters of the Faith series or something like that. Mm, these are Toscoli. I have, I have, I have. So I am going to go with Oh, these ones by Wendy Lawton are really, I'm looking forward to getting. But for the sake of not having to choose one out of that list more than in, over any of the other ones, I'm going to go with Profit by um, R.J. Larson. And it is book number one in the Books of the Infinite series. Okay, let's go on to M. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Some good stuff, good stuff <laughs> on my list. I am going to go with, oh, now I know it's not Christmas, but this one is called Joy to the World of Regency Christmas by Carolyn Miller. It's between her and... There is one by H.B. Moore, and it's Mary and Martha. I have that one. Okay, so, or this one right here, um, Fatal Frost by Nancy Mayo. Now, I, you guys already heard me rave about Nancy Mayo's book, so I'm going to choose her because it's a safe bet, and it's Fatal Frost, and again, it's Defenders of Justice, book number one. Um, I'm choosing that one because it's safe. It's safe. I haven't read anything by Carolyn Miller, but the cover of the book, I'm going to show it anyway because it's just so stinking cute. So, yeah. Let's go into MN. I have no ends. <laughs> I have no ends. Oh my gracious. What in the world? No ends. Okay, let's go into some O's. I have Love Come Softly. I've seen that movie several, several times. I've seen actually the series several times and by Jeanette Oak. Uh, Oki, O-K-E. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, her last name. And I love that movie, so um, that's a contender. Because I've seen a movie, do I really want to read the book on that? On, and because of the um, genre of kind of book it is? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh. I have a lot from Tope Amato show, but I have her books. <laughs> I have her books. Um, oh, oh, okay. Here is one by um, John W. Ott, O-T-T-E, and it's called Numb, N-U-M-B, Numb. Is it Numb or Numb? Numb, Numb. Yeah, I'm excited about that one because that cover looks cute. It looks, it's not, it don't look cute. It's kind of creepy, but it looks good. <laughs> not cute. It looks good. 
Okay, let's go on to P. I gotta sing while I'm doing this, guys. Ouch. My fingers are popping. Oh, this one, this one. Freedom, which is book number one in a Liberty's Backgrounds um, series. And it is by Faith L. Potts. So that's for my P. Let's look. Oh, I have no cues. <laughs> Let's go on to R's. I am going to choose. You know, I got my Francine Rivers out here. I have these books. Um, I am going to choose The Forever Stone by Gloria Rep. R-E-P-P, -P, right here, Gloria Rep, The Forever Stone. For S, I am choosing, holy camoly, I have a lot of books with the last, um, author's last name, S. I'm choosing The Call of Zulina, and it is book number one in the Grace in Africa series by K. Marshall Strong. For T's, I am choosing... I have those. I have them. Oh, dang it. Oh. I'm choosing Sold Into Freedom. And this is book number one in the Planting Faith series. And it is by Carol Torres. T-O-W-R-I-S-S. This cover is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. I'm looking forward to reading, getting that one and reading it. Okay, we are in the I Have No Use. I have a V, and it's the Christmas Shoes, and it's book number one in Christmas Hope series by Donna Van, is it Van Leer? Lyrie? Van Lyrie? I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, Let's see. W. No, 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 no. Oh, we, I have this one. <laughs> I am going to go with oh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go with the number of love by Rosanna M. White. I was thinking um something borrow Christmas wedding by JC Weaver, but uh, I think I'm just gonna go with the number of love. I heard so many good things about this book. But if I was looking for a Christmas book, definitely that um, something borrowed one would be the one that I would choose. Let's see. WX, nothing for X. Moving it along. <laughs> for the letter Y, I have nothing. And for the letter Z, I have nothing. <laughs> So, I'm sorry if you heard my pen clicking. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine alphabets I do not have repre a book representing by author. So, your goal is to beat my nine. <laughs> Guys, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed this tag. It was quick and fun. I just wanted to share something with you guys and um so you can go through your wish list and you know be preparing yourself for books that you plan on getting uh, sometime within 2021 go ahead and like and share this video if you care to do so leave comments down below now i'm tagging everybody you know nay lou holly um Monique, everybody. Any, I'm, I, I hate naming people because I know I'm forgetting so many great people that follow me. Alicia. <laughs> you guys, if you don't want to do a video, go ahead and drop your A through Z books down in the comment section, okay? 
Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Goodreads, both with the handle Quilt and Beauty and Books. And until the next video, guys, be blessed. Bye.